Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. We are here in Lumio City after last time we went ahead and got ourselves to Sycamore's Lab where we got the amazing choice of three incredible starters and we decided to take ourselves the Geodude because the stars weren't actually incredible. All they were garbage as has been most of our encounters through this playthrough other than our Sylveon. So we have ourselves Cantaloupe on the team. Sadly it did not end up with Sturdy but you know what? It's at least a new typing. It will die in an absolute second to any water or grass type move and that is unfortunate but as long as we're fighting a normal type hey it's incredibly useful so let's hope that it can be somewhat useful in this playthrough because our team right now is so lackluster and i'm going to keep using that word because it describes it perfectly but we made it to lumio city uh we have ourselves shauna over here ready to go ahead and give us some information about whatever fashion thing she's going to talk about and then we have serena a little bit further on at the cafe before we head to the next route and get a potential new encounter which i long for new encounters right now i really do i need them <laughs> gooba check this out you can make trainer pr videos here it's called the pr video studio making my own pr video it's like a dream come true you can make a quick video for you or you can edit your own masterpiece i'll put my heart into those 10 seconds and put them out there for the world to see sure sure i don't know if i even remember any of this what even is this Hi, this way please although I'm, I'm thinking of like the pokemon black and white um like rockstar studio type thing where you can like decorate all your pokemon up i don't think this is like that welcome trainer i haven't seen you around before is this your first time here yeah this is the PR video studio. You can jam 10 seconds of video with every atom of your awesomeness. That sentence just feels dated. <laughs> to show everyone how cool you are. It's quick and easy. Want to try it? Yeah, sure. Go for it. All right, then. Here we go. What's your style? Energetic. Not at all. The exact opposite. In fact, I am one of the least energetic people. Cool. Meh. Meh, not really. Fun? I'll go with fun. Fun sounds interesting. I don't know if I'm actually fun, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Roger that, boss. Let's get started. Onto the studio. Okay, stand right there for me. I'm standing, yes. Ah, yes. Yes, that's perfect. This comical side of you. Yes. Do, did they paint like a clown face on the side of my head or something? What do you mean comical side of me? It's like a whole other side of you. Good, great job on the shoot today. I think this will be a great video. Can I watch it? Oh no, it, is it is it loading? Uh oh. Do I have to do nothing? Oh my god. What? They add a laugh track. It is indeed cut. It's <laughs> so bad. I don't need to restart that. We're not restarting that at all. That was so bad. I'll save this video. Please don't. Please delete that. You want to share? No, please delete that. Please make sure that's never seen again. You didn't see that, right? Wow, you really might just be something. Oh no, she saw it. I thought my eyes might fall out of my head while watching you. Hey, you could have this. Oh, if I get goodies for it, then sure, I'll go for it. Upload it. I don't care. Do I get goodies? Wait, I want goodies. What do you say? Hello there, you want the desk on the left over there. Me, my job is to wait here every day for the coolest of trainers. Oh, I'm not the coolest? Okay. I did go with the funniness, to be fair. Uh, you there, if you have confidence in your coolness as the coolest of cool trainers, then go talk to the lady there at the desk. I sure don't. I sure don't. Does anyone else give anything? Aika, do you give anything? No? Okay. I think we're done here. It was a little bit of fun. It was a little bit goofy, but I, I do think we are done there. Uh, I do want to see, can we, we get blocked off from going down most of these pathways. Is there any pathways that we can go down? Because I would like to check shops for extra goodies on side shops. We can go this way? We can go this way. Um, this is fashion. This isn't what I want right now. How may I help you? Oh, you're not as stylish as you could be. I'm so sorry to tell you this. This is a place for stylish people only. Oh, Oh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> Rejected. Oof. Uh, we might be able to buy something here. Shop. Goodies. Ooh. Okay, alright. Problem number one. We need a Mewtwo for this to be cool, but Mewtwo Tonight X is, in fact, a very cool thing to be selling. That's a very, very good item. 
Uh, pretty Wing, Water Gem, Red Card. I don't care about any of those. But the Mewtwo tonight X is pretty good. Do you also sell stuff? Tell me what you hope to achieve and I'll tell you the optimal herbal remedy. No, I don't. Unless you give me it. No. Okay, you're just going to tell me about them. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Mewtwo tonight X is pretty good. It is pretty good. This is a grooming place for Furfru, isn't it? Okay, I don't think we can do anything here. Uh, and across the street, we have ourselves. Is this another cafe? Cafe might have something that they can sell. Aren't you not dying to not know? Oh, God, double negatives. Ah. Um, okay, you are not going to sell stuff. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Mewtwo tonight X, though, is a pickup that we can get. That is worth the knowledge of going there. Let's go ahead and head to Serena, shall we? And see what Serena has to say. As she should be with... If my memory serves, because it has been a while, Dianfa? Hi. Could you come here for a second? Does this cafe sell stuff? <laughs> I have a one-track mind. It's actually just go get random item. That is all my brain does. Oh, it's Lysandra. And is that Dianfa? Just so you know, neighbor, Lysandra is the head of Lysandra Labs, which created the Holocaster, the video messaging device. You already know who Dianfa is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. Played a young girl so wonderfully in the debut on your silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. That is a strange question. That is like Stranger Danger type question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? You may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. But I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Add touch. <laughs> Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would make this world unchanging and eternal so all beauty lasts forever. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Carlos. Don't talk about the world becoming uglier and then immediately drop my name. What the hell? That's messed up. Come on, dude. This is Dianfa, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Carlos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. Which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. Okay, he's getting really creepy really quickly, actually. And I don't remember it being this creepy because I played this uh, a lot of years ago when... <laughs> a little bit creepy. And who are you two? My name is Serena. I like how the music changes as well. The music definitely adds to the creepiness. And this is Carlos, right? I heard Lysandra call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself. In my off time, I look forward to us battling someday. I look forward to you leaving so I can go ahead and speak to this person on the side and uh, see if they have goodies. Uh, we can do a competition short, but is there goodies? No. Tragic. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can really do in here because I know it forces you to go to Route 5 to continue. So I guess we're heading out of Lumio City with not any real goodies added. Unfortunate. So, check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. I would love a wild Pokemon. You don't understand. I need this. I need this wild Pokemon, Tiano. Route 5. Oh, no. No, I forgot about this, dude. Hey. Bad touch. <laughs> nice to meet you, friend. You call me Mr. Bonding. I don't want any bonding. Have you heard about O Powers? That expression of yours tells me you haven't. I'm never using O Powers. I don't trust this guy. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. O Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Hmm. I like money. Alright, keep talking, Mr. Bonding Man. We might be friends yet. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Bad touch. Bad touch. Add. <laughs> attack power increases the attack stat, defense power increases the defense stat. That's not all. Powers can gain levels the more you use them. Take a look at the instructions if you want to know more. Remember, you can activate an O power using the PSS. Well then, I do believe I shall take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. I'm never, I'm never interacting with him again. I don't want to ever see him again. Uh, this takes us to route 5. Do we have any goodies? Any, any, any good, any, any, any good, no, okay. Listen, you gotta try. All right, you gotta try. Route five. Hi, Lucario. 
We will be given a Lucario when we get to Karina, actually, which will just immediately be a level 32 Pokemon that gets added to our team if we make it that far with the current team that we have. So I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when it all of a sudden dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Ah, well, it seems Lucario likes you. Uh, thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shalor City Gym Leader. This should be where you get roller skates, by the way. Right now. This, this interaction. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Get it rolled? She's on roller skates? I'm sure that's the reason why that's said, but... Encounter? Encounter! Alright. Slugma, you are going in front. I'm sorry, uh, Cantaloupe, but we, we need Yawn right now. Please. Fully evolved. Not a fairy type. Preferably. Steel type would be amazing. Something nice, thick, and defensive. A nice, fully evolved steel type. Or Blastoise, because I have a Blastoise Knight. A Woobat. A Woobat. Okay. Great. Great. That's... Great. Great, guys. Guys, it's great. Everything is so good. Everything is so good right now. Our team, incredible. Impeccable. No one could possibly defeat this team with anything like a random Kyogre. Um, yeah, our team is fine. Our team is so good. This is going to be a challenging Nuzla. That's all I'm going to say. This one's going to be really tough. All it takes is one thing going wrong. So far, we've been really, really scraping the bottom of the barrel for encounters other than Sylveon. Which, by the way, question of the day, what's your favorite evolution? We're going to keep it kind of simple with the question of the day today because I can't think of any. <laughs> if you want the real answer. Um, yeah, we're going to keep it simple today. What's your favorite evolution? If you've been on the channel for a while, you've probably already had this question asked before and may have already answered it, but go ahead and answer it again because I am forgetful. So, what do we want to call this Woobat? Something called milk. There's, there's no connection. There's literally no connection to milk in this Pokemon. Like, there's none. Do we want to take a brief look and see what else we could have gotten? Is that what we're going to do? Am I going to subject myself to this torture right now? I probably shouldn't. I really probably shouldn't. Because if there's a Kyogre or something in there, then I'm actually just going to get popped. And I don't need that right now. What I do need is good items. Hey, right. Well, that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, for the question of the day, my favorite Sylveon, probably well known at this point if you've been on the channel for a while, but it is Espeon from the good old days of Pokemon Coliseum, as Espeon was the thing that absolutely carried me through my Pokemon Coliseum playthrough back in the day. And to be honest, it's just always sort of been my favorite since then. I've had no reason to change it. I like cats. I'm a cat person. Uh, and yeah, it is that simple. I will obviously go ahead and continue to heart every single question of the day um, response because I seem to have just developed a habit of doing that and I don't see any reason to change that. The way of acknowledging that I've actually read the comment. I always read the comment, just so everyone is aware. I always read the comment, but I don't always respond quickly. <laughs> so I heart them when I see them. Uh, as this is a double battle and I am afraid, I am going to go into Sylveon because I would like Sylveon to be tanking Uxie. And I think we're going to keep Beautifly in. And we're going to pluck the Venusaur. Obviously, Cantaloupe can't stay in against a Venusaur. That'd be a terrible idea all around. So we're going to bring in Sylveon to tank things. Plus, it's staying as our only good Pokemon right now. So we need it to, to do everything, <laughs> realistically. Uh, this is decent. Vine Whip is fine. Even if Confusion hits Beautifly again, it isn't going to cause any issues for us because we outsped the Venusaur, so Venusaur doesn't get to attack, meaning we should be fine. So this Fairy Wind, you. 
and throw a pluck into you. I'm happy that Beautiful Eye is at least able to somewhat hold its own now that it has a flying type move. I would love to get Silverwind, because we did see the Silverwind's TM. I would love to go and grab that, so Beautiful Eye is actually like a... Beautiful Eye early with Silverwind and pluck will actually be a very good Pokemon. I do think that. I think until level like 25, Beautiful Eye will be a decent Pokemon if it has Silverwind and it has Pluck. I do. Just, just gotta get there. Just gotta get there. Would I rather have Swift or Quick Attack? Honestly, Swift is gonna be way better because I don't want to miss in certain situations. And also, our special attack is way higher than our physical attack. So, that's the plan there. I would also love for Cantaloupe to get some XP from this. We do get Gust. Okay, we already have Pluck. So, not the craziest. I also thought it was level 10, but I guess I'm just thinking of, like, Butterfree. Cantaloupe wants to learn Roll Out. It can be scary. We've seen firsthand that it can be scary. We also have Defense Curl. If we can get Defense Curl Rollout combo going, that can do a lot of damage. It's just really risky to use in a Nuzlocke when you're forced to stay in. You know, it is very risky. So, I don't know how often I will click that button, but I might click the button. We'll see. Now we just continue to Fairy Wind, and I guess we just Pluck again. I don't know if Gust or Pluck really does more damage. I'm gonna assume Pluck does more damage. Uxie uses rest. Honestly, that's like all I know about Uxie is that it uses rest. That's it. Our mind, psychic, rest. That's all it does. That pluck damage. Okay, that was a crit. I was going to say, it actually did more than the fairy wind from Sylveon, which surprised me. But yeah, okay. The crit makes it make more sense. But yeah, we should be able to take this out just fine. By the way, another legendary. Just, just throwing it out there. That is another legendary. We've seen... A few too many legendaries for me to be comfortable, considering that most of our team is not evolved. Not even not fully evolved. Not evolved at all. Which is tough. Good XP though, I guess. So, silver lining and all that. We'll see how it goes. Cancel gets level 13. That is nice. Level 40. Okay. <laughs> Went from level 10 to level 14 in one double battle. That is actually kind of insane. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Did that make it like our second highest level on the team? Kinda, it's kinda tied. Alright, Onigiri, you're going in front again. <laughs> he got overtaken in one battle. Dang. That's actually so crazy. Um, we're gonna go this way because item. What else could we have gotten? Man. Man. That Regirock's gonna explode. That Regirock's gonna explode and murder most of these Pokemon, if not all of them. Maybe Tangrowth would survive? Actually, now that I think about it, this Horde battle would suck. This Horde battle would suck because that Regirock would explode. But it's way more interesting than picking up a Woobat. I would take my chances at getting a Lapras over taking a Woobat any day. There's also a Shink, so I can have a Luxio. Man, can I even run from this? I mean, what else am I going to do? Am I going to go into Frillish to maybe take an explosion? I don't want to... I want to just run. I don't want to risk Frillish getting hit by a Tangrowth and a Shinx. Admittedly, Shinx doesn't have an Electro-type move. Uh, just so everyone is aware, while this Horde battle is on the screen, if we do encounter a Horde battle for our encounter, we are going to treat it as a pick and choose. Because trying to catch a Pokemon out of a Horde battle, in my mind, is a battle in and of itself. And also, Horde battles... My understanding is pretty rare, so I don't know if we really- We might get one in the playthrough if we're lucky, so I think having one sort of almost freebie- Obviously, things can happen, like Regirock could explode, a Pokemon could be on the other side of Magnitude, and it could tear the Pokemon that I actually want to catch. That sort of stuff can happen. Uh, so I, I think we do treat this as a catch whatever you want. I'm going to try and run, because most of these Pokemon are slow, other than like Weasel. Okay, we do get away. That's fine. That's fine. That's made me a little bit nervous about running around in the grass, though. We get ourselves a Zinc, which actually we can sell for decent money, so I'm not too mad at that. I am not too mad at that at all. Don't be another Horde battle. Could have had Bronze Sword. That's a good defensive steel type. I would have actually been happy with that. I would have been way happier with that than Woobat. Man. Okay, so far Woobat is the worst thing we've seen in the grass, and that was our encounter, of course. What else? Arbok. New typing, at least. The new typing, I suppose. Um, 
There's that. We do manage to run away safely. I don't like running away with Elgium in front because Elgium's so slow, but also... Man, this grass. What else could we have had? Star Raptor, potentially? That's way better. The Woobat sucks. I think I'm a Woobat hater. You know, I do. I think I'm a Woobat hater. I'd rather have had a Staravia any day. Couldn't get away. Uh-oh. It begins. It begins. There we go. Okay, we do get away. We do have the level advantage, at least, because we've been fighting such, you know, evolved Pokemon. So, that's one good thing we have on our side, at least. My goodness. Pokemon hordes certainly are intense. Yeah, they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tiano, do you ever think of anything besides dancing? No, he has a one-track mind, and he's perfect the way he is. Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just start moving, too. I can't even help it, you know? Like with Swords Dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Oh, hey, it's Goomba. <laughs> can I make me giggle every time? <laughs> do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in a battle. Uh-oh. You're probably an important trainer, right? Do Pokemon. Maybe not. Developer Wellington. What a absolutely powerful name. And a Leafeon. We can fight a Leafeon. We can fight a Leafeon. We just go into nuts and we should be fine. We can fight a Leafeon. Also, probably decent XP because it's fully evolved. And you know what? Our team needs that as much as possible right now because we're... I, my mindset with EXP share is I'm going to try and tab it off as much as possible. If there is a time when I'm just training up, like, one Pokemon that I've caught, like, say I catch a level 5 Kyogre by fishing with an old rod at some point or something stupid like that, I'm going to want to train that up, obviously. So that'd be the only time when I'd probably have the EXP share on. Uh, we should be fine to just Ember again, right? I don't think we're in crit range. I wasn't paying the most attention, but I don't think we're in crit range. We won. We're fine. I think crit is 50% extra in this game anyway. Pretty sure. Pretty sure all of the two times damage thing got stopped a while ago, but I'm actually not 100% sure now that I say it out loud. Uh, Onigiri gets some XP, and Heat More comes in. I mean... Sure, let's use Geodude. Sure. Am I going to lock myself into a rollout right now for the first time? Maybe. Maybe. But if there's a Pokemon it can win against, surely Heatmore would be fine. Because Heatmore does what? It embers and licks? I think rollout's fine. If it whips out, like, anything other than that, it could be scary. But as far as I'm aware, it only has, like, ember and lick. Rollout does good damage. There's the lick that I was expecting, which should do, like, two damage. Or, yeah, I guess we are negative defense nature, which is unfortunate. But rollout is going to take it out nice and easily. Okay. 400 XP. Geodude to level 15. Can you get magnitude or is that 16? Hey! See, I know my Geodudes. I know my Geodudes. Uh, realistically, between magnitude and rollout, that's kind of all the coverage I'm ever going to need. I don't think I'll ever click a button other than those two, so I think we're good to get rid of tackle. I'll keep the defense curl just to power up rollout realistically. So, go on. That was some nice footwork. I became a ball. It's like the opposite of footwork. <laughs> I removed my feet. I used a Pokemon that doesn't have feet. <laughs> Good to see you, Carlos. Excuse me, I meant Goomba. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> kind of hit. It really does seem as though Tiano can only think about dancing and moves. And a horde of Pokemon popped out and just stood there watching them. I kind of did the same a second ago, to be fair. Well, yeah, Trevs. Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream, after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this. I need to not do that. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tiano. I guess I should show just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex, then. It's good to be serious about some things. You battle as well, though, right? Oh, uh, Uber, you take this honey, won't you? Is it randomized? Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care about your honey. I don't care about your honey. No one cares about your honey. I care about items. Is there an item down here? No, we have to rotate round. That's fine. That's fine. How is our team doing? Nuts is a little bit weak. Uh, We should be fine to just use a potion, right? I guess we have set of Let's go back to full HP. I like things being at full HP if I want to swap them in uh, into a fight where they need a type advantage. What else could we have had in the grass? 
could have been so good eventually, especially because we could potentially get the Mega Evolution for it. Like, a Charizard Y would be incredible. Couldn't get away from a level 10 Charmander Elgium. Please, use your psychic powers to just, like, throw it into the tree behind it and, and scatter it or something. Elgium. Elgium. Psychic powers. Tree. Go. Really? Doesn't have Dragon Rage at level 10 at least. There we go. Okay. Hooray, Elkium. You are testing my patience a bit there. Leading with Elkium. Okay, I'm about to jinx myself with what I'm about to say, but leading with Elkium could be scary because something could leave a pursuit. Like if we go up against like an Absol that pursuits us, that would be terrifying, especially because Mega Absol is in the game. Uh cue the Absol. Okay. That can learn pursuit. No, wait, no. I was kidding. Wait, no, 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 no. I was kidding. I was kidding. We're not actually gonna pursue me, right? We're not actually gonna pursue me. We're not actually gonna do that though. I just, I listen, listen. I didn't like the fact that a dark type popped out on my screen immediately after I said that. Bite. Yeah, that would also have been very scary. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't use pursuit at least. I'm glad I didn't use pursuit at least. Okay, all right, got it. No more saying anything to, to jinx things like that. No more of that. No more leading with Elgium, either. <laughs> Unless I feel like it can confidently swap into a fight and swap out again. Our Sylveon is level 18, because it's just the only Pokemon that I feel confident going into. It's such a higher level than everything else. Ooh, ooh, it is, it's a tough life out here. Um... I actually just lead with Slugma again for a bit. Uh, what do we have up here? We can, in fact, glide ourselves. Ooh! Gengar, right? Okay, okay. Have to find ourselves a Gengar at some point and, you know, get the Mega Ring and all that, but still, nice. And this is, uh, please interact with me. Ability Capsule! Okay, that's also really good. Is that worth putting onto Geodude right now? It could be. It sure could be. Let's, let's, let's think. Let's think. Because obviously there is a chance that later on we catch ourselves, for example, a Maril, right? And we use this example because I had my little Maril fascination thing in some previous playthroughs very recently. But like, Maril without huge power is not even a Pokemon. So that is very, 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 very worth considering. Swarm is fine. Water Absorb is fine. Cute Charm is fine, although Pixelate is nice, but I think that's a hidden ability, so I don't think we can get that with the ability capsule. Uh, Telepathy sucks. Telepathy sucks. Analytic would be way better. Analytic would be way better, so that's also something to consider. Oh, I would also love to replace Elkium, <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. And then there's Rockhead. I would much rather have Sturdy than Rockhead. Sturdy is such a good ability in a Nuzlocke. That's... It's such... It's such a good ability change that I think it might just be worth it immediately. I'm also going to see how much it sells for, though. Before I do that, I'm going to see how much it sells for, because if it sells for enough money, I might consider selling it so that we can get good TMs, because I feel like the TMs would be even more beneficial than changing the ability to study. For example, Psycho Boost and Silverwind. I really want. Is this another Horde? It is another Horde. Okay. Um, I hope that Slugma can run. Elgium could run, so I'm gonna assume we can. Okay, it paused for a second and that scared me. Uh, but yeah, another Horde. Scary. Don't like that. What do we have up here? We have more trainers that are gonna battle us? Probably. But I want to do this little loop-de-loop -loop first of all, because there was potentially an item. As we grab ourselves one orange berry, which, to be fair, I mean, as far as berries go, it's actually not that bad of a berry. I'll take it. Alright, I got poisoned by a skun tank while I was running back anyway, so how much does an ability capsule sell for? 2.5k. Yeah, that's not enough. If it was like 10k, I would have probably done it, but I'm not going to, to take that deal. That is not worth it. I will grab ourselves the Zinc Selling, and we can buy ourselves Silverwind with that, which will be very, very nice for Beautifly. So sure, we're going to take Silverwind for now. 
Obviously, ideally, I'd like to buy, like, all of these and have them recycle eventually, but I feel like that's the most pressing one, as that's base 60 power stab very early into the game, which is actually very decent. Plus, it is randomized on who can learn it. Frillish can learn it as well. Is it worth teaching to a Frillish? I, I can't imagine it is, right? I can't imagine this is something that I actually want to do. But I'm not going to click Water Sport at the moment, and maybe we'll come in against a... Probably not a Grass or a, or a Dark type. I I don't know when we're going to use it, but we're going to have the option at least, because why not? <laughs> I suppose. We may as well have the option for coverage. Maybe just something that uses water type moves that we want to water absorb against, that we can't use our own moves back against. I don't know. Technically, it does more damage than Absorb as well, if Absorb isn't super effective. I guess it's worthwhile. Alright, I'm leaving us off in kind of a, a weird spot because there is a lot of trainers still on this route, and I do want to go ahead and battle as many trainers as possible to get as much XP for this bad team as possible before the next gym. So we're going to leave things off right here with uh, a little bit of a weird timing, but it's fine. Uh, overall, our team still sucks, and I am dreading every single battle that we go into. That's kind of my consensus on how this Nuzlocke is feeling so far. So, yeah. <laughs> but next time, we will hopefully go ahead and be able to grab ourselves a new Pokemon on the next route, finish up this route, and do some other stuff. Uh, we do have the Fossil to hand in when we eventually get there as well. So we have things to look forward to. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough, go ahead, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and if I ever do, 